The contingent market is a small component of the Philippine financial system. This is despite insurance products having been first introduced during the period of Spanish colonization. I am then often asked why our insurance industry should bother with systemic risks and take part in the Financial Stability Coordination Council. The answer to this question goes to the core of what is systemic risk. We know that it is a disruption in the financial system which can adversely affect the rest of the economy. The two key points here are that one, the disruption can be anywhere in the financial system and need not be the whole financial market. And that second, the rest of the economy may be affected by this disruption. With this, the issue is not how big the insurance sector is, but rather how it affects or is affected by banking, cash, and capital markets. Insurance products provide both a hedge against risk and a long-term investment outlet. This hedge and the investment returns must be consistent with other financial prices. The same systemic risks that affect other components of the market will then affect the insurance sector as well. And if there are disruptions in our sector, then the well-being of our stakeholders will be adversely affected in the future. Yes, the insurance sector remains rather modest in size in the Philippines. But the disruptions from us or caused through us which will certainly affect the future of many Filipinos. That is systemic.